So well, let's call the meeting to order at 6.30 something. 6.40. Okay. At 6.40. Um, public comment. Adam, want to say anything? Tom Morgan. No? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, and then, yeah, let's mix it around a little. Let's, um, we have to appoint the clerk, but let's at least uh, introduce uh, Jerry and appoint her, assuming people are amenable to doing that. And then um, she doesn't need to be sworn in, but um, then you can, you can invite to do executive session as a, at least board appointee. So Ryan, you want to introduce, and then I guess Jerry, you can further introduce. Sure. Yeah, we've, how should we say, been lucky enough to find a very willing and capable board member to replace Lisa Frost. Um, so Jerry Huck has agreed to get involved with the board and uh, be appointed through the remainder of the term into March and then roll through the election cycle. And so Jerry Huck is hopefully going to be, with, again, everyone's approval, the newest Roxbury representative on the board. Great. And nice to meet you all. I, you saw my brief introduction. So I, I work in IT, mostly IT security um, and change management. So <laughs> it might be a good fit. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I work with global teams. So I'm usually on California time. That's why it's a I had to rush out today. So, um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, please ask. I've been in Roxbury for eight years. I have a question. Sure. Why do you want to be on the board? Well, um, so here's an interesting tidbit. My, my, when I was a child, I was a very shy child, and uh, this... Uh, my classmate, when we were seniors, he said um, he was a disabled person, our, the only one in our class. And he said, Jerry, they're not going to let me graduate. They're not going to let me attend. And he was very upset about it. And so I got, gathered all my strength, and I went to the school board. And I got him involved. I mean, I got him to be able to walk. and participate in the ceremony. So I think it's, you have a lot of influence and I think it's a good way to be involved in the community. So that's it. Good. That's good. Well, we thank you. Yeah, thank you. For <laughs> taking that seat. Did we have any other applicants? Uh, no, Ryan, I think. I know. I we're not expecting anybody else to to run. How should we say? <laughs> to in contention. Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, in come March, there's no guarantees there won't be. Oh yes, yeah, absolutely. Them, just to say that out yeah. loud. So mm -hmm. say that again. That there, there's no guarantee she'll be the only person running for this seat of in March. Yeah, and so I'll um, I'll get you an email. The VBSA, the Vermont School Board, VSBA, the Vermont School Boards Association. Um, has kind of a packet for new members. I'll send you that. Um, we have discussed having a board mentor just to kind of get you up to speed. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants to volunteer now, or I can, you know, corral people later, but I think it would be a pretty light lift. But we, to talk about it for new board members, I think it would be great just to give you kind of a, you know, a general introduction because you'll probably feel like, you know, you've got a bit of a learning curve. I don't think it's a very steep learning curve, yeah. but. Um, you know, certainly my first few meetings, I was a little right. lost. I did read through um, several of the past minutes, and so I feel like I have a little bit of a yeah. lay of the land. I mean, I'm sure it's very superficial, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. We got you an um, MPSVT email today, so oh. you can log oh. into Google through that, so okay. just Gmail, and it's jerryhuck at mpsvt.org. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we actually need a vote. So, can I make a motion to approve or appoint Jerry Huck as the second rock or the next Roxbury representative? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and you do need to get who's where is that in Roxbury? Is it the the Town Tower Camry Legacy? Yeah. 
you know, so that you can swing with the town office sometime and, and then Matt Jimmer let the letter know that you'll be coming in and it's just a form you have to sign off and oh, okay. just a formality. And I know I'm up there. Although it, well, it means you option. can't vote tonight. Right. <coughs> so yeah. it's not entirely a formality, but I don't think we're voting on anything anyway. No. Except the consent agenda. Yeah. Uh, and then um, just note the Ken Jones session will be moved to the 28th. Okay, great. Uh, next is uh, executive session exit interview with Mike McCraith. So you have the agenda uh, appointing a clerk. Um, Did you approve consent in any? No, oh, I move we accept the consent agenda as presented. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Now the clerk. That's important. Um, so we are. I forget whether we're required to have a clerk or not. We are. I think we are. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know we had that discussion last time. Um, Lisa was our clerk previously. It is a relatively light lift, um, especially since we still have someone here taking notes. Do you have any interest in anyone volunteering to be a clerk, the clerk? I can do it. You sure? Mm -hmm. Great. Awesome. Uh, She's saying well done. Yes, thank you. You're our favorite. <laughs> <laughs> our new favorite board member. Uh, she has to be sworn in first before she can yeah. take that over, though, I think. Yes. Yes. That's so true. So that's, that's the uh, yes, committee. Yes, she? she was. Let's she was put on my committee. Let's put the point of clerk on the 20th. And we also said that was an objective. So, so follow up with you, Jay. Okay. Yeah. Because um, I don't think we have a point. That committee's mm -hmm. also Someone massive, though. You know, it actually is. It's unwieldy. Yeah, right now. Right now. Let me look at the construction and the structure of it. And okay. You may or not be stuck. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was with a, that. a big hole or not. With yeah. Oh. But depending on whether or not yeah. Yeah. Policy might need more people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we could have the discussion. Well, I'll raise it here and maybe we can do it at the 14th because we're going to have better turn at the 14th. Um, we may need another person on the policy committee because, uh, yeah, because mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve may step off that. Yeah. Uh, and we also need someone to be on the language immersion study committee as a board member. Um, are you open to board members who are opposed to language immersion? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, that all voice would be very important on that <laughs> committee. Yeah, yeah, if you want to do it, Michelle, that would be great. Uh, what's the time <laughs> commitment like at this juncture? I don't, you don't, I don't know if that's Mike Barry. My initial answer to that is one meeting a month, but okay. I don't want you to quote me on that because I'm not sure because he hasn't allowed me to be on it. So okay. you still haven't met about that other committee. That yes, and yeah, and, and, and Andrew and I need to. We should do lunch at some point. Just next time you can do lunch. Yeah, so I can I can get that information for you from like. Like I'll start to engage that very much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's. Right now. Get the control on some different things. So why don't we do those two appointments next? If if. Earth can make contact to Steve. I'll see if he's um, if he wants us to try to replace him on the policy committee. My guess is probably yes. I got that indication the last time we met. Um, and Michelle, if you want to do the, if you're sure you want to do it, you could probably appoint now. But if you want to wait for Olivia to get some more information from Mike about what uh, you're jumping into, more information would be good. Okay. Also, because does it goes for the whole year, right? And my term is up in March. March. So right. but, uh, the, the, but we have Mike Barry said anyway. when he presented to us well, that's different that, that was he wasn't going to put up the amend date, but he said right now yeah. the plan, and it was also, I think, to start in June, so I don't know if that happened. Mm -hmm. well, had one meeting, right? So it was originally to end in December, so now okay. it might be to end in January. Okay. So I don't know if that's still the plan. Well, the idea is if we need more time, budgetary yeah. ask. Yeah. Right. We know we need. We know we're going for the report, yeah. and we need budgetary yes. ask, and we have to have it done by December, yeah. right, Jim, November. Right. If we were to do it for next year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or maybe even earlier. Then. 
So I can probably do that, well, we but I do want to just check with, with, with Mike, Mike, Mike what the commitment is. Okay. Hey, perfect. So let's um, make those appointments at the next meeting. I think this should be pretty quick, especially if uh, we already have volunteers. And I think that just leaves the board training piece. Jim, can I ask quick? I know we're going to talk about, or Ken Jones is going to visit us in yes. August. Yeah, the 28th. Mm -hmm. But what was, what was the plan with that? What should I expect? Uh, I can get a little more information. He's, it's part of a larger community initiative where I think this is Montpelier is kind of examining how they use energy and transportation needs. Um, and my understanding is that his presentation is going to involve the fact that the school district is a pretty major piece of the community and uh, you know, getting some sort of school involvement in that is important. Okay. And he's in what capacity now? He's with? He's on the Energy Committee, the Montpelier yeah. Energy the, Committee. The city. Yeah. And he's also with I'm a former member. He, right. And, uh, See what, what's that group like? I don't know. He, uh, I do, he's not in Sustainable Montpelier. He's not in Sustainable Montpelier? I don't think so. Their director is Dan Jones. Yes. Jones. They're very close, though. They're yes, very close. They, they are. spent a lot of time together. Yes, indeed. Yeah. But I, uh, I don't think that he's on their board, but I could be wrong. And Dan was the chair of the Energy Committee when I first joined, yeah. and then it, it switched part of the way through. Yeah. I don't know if Dan's still on the Energy Committee. Anyways. <laughs> Ken wants to talk about energy. Okay. Energy. And yeah, that's helpful. Like I said, yeah. it was, I really wasn't sure it was coming down the road of that one. And yeah. since we have time to prepare, now we know. So talk for training. Mm -hmm. So part of your all expectations and goals is to have trainings. I actually was reading through the equity policy just today uh, because I'm never our first meeting of the equity um, team coming up soon, so I was just reading through the policy for that meeting, and part of that is annual board training around equity. Mm -hmm. So that um, we've checked that box right now, <laughs> but we um, so that just made us think about what other board trainings are you looking for. You know, it's very helpful when the board says to me that we find trainings on, you know, bullying that bullying and harassment was good for us and. Mm -hmm. um, the equity was good, and the communication we, piece was good. So did we have the training on bullying? Oh, we talked about We did about with Heather Lynn in the beginning of the year. Do you remember? It was a while yep. ago. It was very beginning. Yeah, very beginning. She oh, came. Yeah. We sat in the the crown room. Yeah, yeah. 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 handouts, and um, yeah. it was informative. Sorry, I missed it. I had a thing just a second ago, and it's gone. Did you guys have any ideas in mind? We didn't really talk about it extensively. We didn't talk about it. Yeah. Are there any things? Oh, restorative justice. Yes. Oh, yeah. We're, that's what we need training on. We've discussed that need previously because it keeps coming up as something that we really, it, we know the administrators really want the district to do restorative justice, and the board is like, sounds good. But we don't have, we don't know what it really entails. So it would be information on restorative justice and restorative practices. Yes. How it works so in school context. Yeah. And I was going to say examples of implementation in other districts. And right. What our limitations would be as well. Whose limitations? And the board's directive on, on that as well. Where our boundaries would be as a board. Well, it's not something that I don't think we're not necessarily involved. No. But we but we information need to on? support it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. We, I mean, we because here's the thing. If if we start having restorative practices in school as different. helping kids through things and then parents yes, aren't happy different. with how it goes mm -hmm. and they come and complain to us, right. we need to make so sure that we really know and and are prepared to support the staff in yeah. it out properly. Yeah. yeah. I mean I think there's kind of two buckets when we think about things we should put on the agenda. I mean, the, there's actual trainings where around things the board 
Like board meeting, board business. Board business. I think the boards are, are actively... How we do our job. Yeah, yeah how we do our job. Um, and I think some of those can be, you know, district-wide, you know, as well, where the board has, you know, an active role. Um, and then I think there, it would be good to have some presentations on initiatives that the district is doing where we're supporting from a budgetary standpoint or, you know, you know, state mandates, we have to do it, uh, where it would be useful to, for us to, one, understand the issue better, and then, two, understand what the district specifically is doing so we can be better ambassadors of community and, you know, explain it when, when problems rise up. And I think we're sort of just, this is probably in that second bucket, and I could see other things like community-based learning and flexible pathways. Yeah, that'd be great. And, Actually, that might be more yeah. Um, immediate. Yeah, flexible pathways and community based. Yeah, yeah. Well, that and I wonder if you should front we load those. Get, like a report from Matt and Sarah on how that's going. That would also be nice to have a public like moment for them as well because it's been such a successful for a certain segment of our population. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A public great. celebration of how that's. Or not just but but like that's. That, that might be better instead of a training to have as a board topic at one of our meetings. Yeah, it's the yeah. learning topic, learning focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah mm -hmm. that's what I was thinking. Um, but on the restorative justice thing, I feel like if parents complain to me that they weren't happy with how a restorative justice process went for their kid, I don't know enough about it to know whether we did it right or mm -hmm. not or... Mm -hmm. yeah. And you might not know that after this training either, but you might have a better idea of what success looks like. I think something else that could be really helpful is where uh, restorative justice and like state policy can like conflict with each other, like where it's like sometimes. HHB, HHB, yeah. 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 I, that that I think that can be really helpful. Yeah. Um, well, and it's a budget item too. I mean, because we had the good acknowledgement. Pam came and you know made the as she did. That was, that was not uh, necessarily mm -hmm. a shining moment yeah. for anyone. Um, and, you know, getting, I think, some education on some initiatives where there are going to be some, some investment I'm asks sorry. would be helpful. So, you know, when, yeah. she comes in, when someone comes and says, well, we need more investment in restorative justice for whatever purpose, we're, we're clued into why, that's, why that is and what that's part of. Is is the middle school on a path to get the staff that they need? In you know to respond to the questions that we they raised? they have built the they're building the space and they're they're working with the current staff that they have. But anyway, as far as being able to present to us and describe to us what the for. problem is and what the need is. I think, I mean, I think if they came back with a clearer description of the issue, that would be helpful. So can we go back to training needs? Yeah. Yeah. I want to get back into that. Yeah, keep yeah. us focused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, a financial training would be good. I don't feel like I personally need it, but I think... That in general, <laughs> you think the the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just a negotiation, negotiations training in general. Yeah, that maybe help. Is that what you're thinking, or more like the state? I mean, there's. I think. System, I think there's. A, I think there's a lot of. From the state or our, our, like our, our as many training district as budgeting. Are you? Well, you know what could be helpful for us is you know we are shifting to this like common chart chart of accounts and understanding and it could be something that I don't know how Grant feels about because he's already you know stretched thin but it could be helpful for us to better understand you know what that entails um, that wasn't exactly what I was thinking I was thinking like, basics of budgeting yeah, how yeah. read the P&L and balance yeah. sheet yeah yeah I mean, I think it's always good to continue to have um, diversity, equity, inclusion trainings. Yeah, I think that's always helpful too. Yeah. 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 Ye
Well, our equity mm. policy requires an annual. Yeah. yeah. One of those. I had a conversation a few weeks ago with Mar Iverson from um, Outright Vermont and in regards to our, the district's transgender, gender neutral policy. And mm -hmm. it was very helpful for me to be more versed and have a better sense for those topics. And um, mm. so, yeah, like I said, I think it could be. Mm -hmm. On the financial side, too, I think it could be helpful. Um, to especially because it's likely that there's going to be a recession in the next several years to look mm -hmm. at, you know, what a healthy reserve looks like, mm -hmm. like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what type of what type of practices we can or should be or are employing to weather that type of situation and it's true. Something yeah, be a little more targeted. We have a sophisticated board. I mean, There's I think Grant there. and Grant has done a good job too of evening out because before our budget would go. Shoo, 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 shoo. He's doing it. He's great. If you looked yeah. at our budget from you know two thousand to two thousand ten, there were these big mm -hmm. peaks and valleys. Yeah, because you know there was some um, federal funding after particular recession, we hired 15 new teachers. Oh, but oh. then there was another recession. So we got another 13 other guys were Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, do, he's, doing, he's doing a really good job. Okay. Well, maybe he could do a one-on-one -on -one kind of financial literacy yeah. for the district financial literacy mm -hmm. thing. And do we need other communications training? We always. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, think, yeah. I think communication is a diversity. I do. I just yeah. think that you can never learn how to do that well enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, it really comes down to that community connection. How do we do that? Totally. There, yeah. So our office is running these statewide trainings, three of them a year. Um, it's, a, it's a newer thing for us. Um, but. Uh, we're, we have a communi we've had a communication session at each mm -hmm. one, and there was this woman from Champlain College who's she's a professor, um, who w I thought was amazing. She can present on all different topics. We could potentially reach out to her, and I know she's Susan, who presented to us, is actually presenting. At, she's actually running a session at our next training uh, in September on translating financial literacy to the general public um, and we're opening it up to municipal and school officials um, but she is friends with this uh, with this professor at Champlain College and said that she's seen her do all sorts of communications trainings and that well I so I don't know that could be an option I could pass along her contact info she did it for free for us uh, I don't know if she'll always do that but and um, I, mean, I was serious about something on either negotiations or labor relations. It would, I think it would be good to have someone come in. I mean, it could be Pietro and just really explain what our contract does, mm -hmm. compare it to other contracts in the state. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, I actually think that'd be great for him to do. And yeah. I, I, you know, I always joke around about. <laughs> I always joke around with them about how much you're getting paid, but I actually think that'd be a great yeah. use of. Use well, <laughs> and it's time and our money. Know how much and and time, could it's like what, like well, four? Well, that kind of that kind of stuff is bet pays for. Yeah. What's Trainings that? done by Pietro or or Heather. Yeah. Um, or Visbet. lawyers Visbet pays for. Okay. We don't pay for that. Wait, who pays for it? It's been our There's, insurance company. Oh, nice. That's yes. awesome. Because yeah. it keeps us. It lowers our liability. You know our. Yeah. We know the contracts. I think that would actually be phenomenal. I actually think that would be phenomenal heading in, in the fall because we're going to start up negotiations again. And, I, yeah, and um, it would there's be some things we want to start, you know, to Yes, and we're going to be negotiating a longer change. contract this next believe time around. It, believe it or not, though, was when we were, I was talking about the evaluation provision of our contract and how weak and rigid it is, mm -hmm. but it actually was a fairly recent huge win just to get it in there yeah because it was well and there's some other things it I was a huge what process evaluation yeah yeah has not it was been, recent yes oh well and i think there's some other things we want to think about too about um you know how how the contract might mesh with you know more 
you know, a more flexible system right. where we've got more personalized plans, we've got, you know, less structured days for students, yep. mm -hmm. uh, but still pretty structured days for mm -hmm. teachers. And um, I think this would be really valuable. Yeah. yeah. Like we're talking, I think all of these trainings would be valuable, but I think that one in terms of nearer term, Contract. like I'm thinking fall, like September, yeah. October. <laughs> 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 That's a I think we'd all benefit from it. Yeah. Sounds like we have because there's, we're going to be here. making a lot of decisions, I have a feeling, this year okay. on contract items. What a crew we are, huh? Everybody's excited about <laughs> our thing about teachers' contracts. Maybe he loves the negotiation. Just watch you. <laughs> you, are, you are the comic relief. He's the show. Moment. He is. We should all be right. better informed. That's a good list. Yeah. Well, I heard that now. I think that's. Um, I was actually just thinking as I drove up here. I kind of admire the good view. That was that long ago? It was pitch dark. Yeah, <laughs> we were. Well, that's it. Betty and I noticed yeah. the store for the first time. Uh, yeah. We didn't know there was a store there because it's always dark when. Yeah. We're there. Well, before you leave, everyone peek into the bathrooms while they're not completely ready. For business, they are great, relatively <laughs> relatively done. So peek oh, in there. One. Did you? <laughs> yeah, was I not supposed to? I don't know. If you you know, know. Sure <laughs> not it's it's done now. Yeah. Too late now. 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 Too late